Number 10, we had, you know, crypto influencers. Number eight, we had institutional investors. Number seven, we had retail investors accumulating old coins without proper research and doing due diligence. So that was number seven. Uh, number six, we had crypto, uh, excuse me, number seven was uh, uh, crypto influencers, you know, continuing to promote all coins throughout 2022 and influencing, you know, retail investors to dollar cost average into many of these projects. And number six, we have retail investors who are happy to accumulate all coins all of 2022 without doing proper research. Number five, we have Michael Saylor, who was happy to buy Bitcoin above $50,000. Who seems like believes in the long term outlook of Bitcoin. But here we are today at $16,000, and we haven't seen any announcement from Michael Saylor that he is accumulating the asset that he truly believes in. So those are the last five of the top 10 crypto losers of 2022. Now, let's get into the first five. Coming in, excuse me, let's get into the last four. Coming in number four. We have no other than BlockFi that recently filed for bankruptcy. Uh, so this is top four crypto loser of 2022. Coming in number three, we have the collapse of Celsius. The collapse of Celsius damage the crypto industry and investors lost millions and millions of dollars. And I this is a really nice, you know, article that talks about basically gives you a really nice, you know, timeline. And gets into you know the nitty gritty. Uh, gets into what was happening behind the scene. So I will put this down in the link, so you guys can check it out. You know if you are interested in in reading this. Coming in number two, coming in number two, you have the collapse of Ter uh, Terra Luna. Uh, Terra Luna had a huge impact on the crypto market. And I think this was actually the beginning of what was to come. Over a hundred billion dollars was wiped out of the market because of the crash of Terra Luna. So this is the number two. And again, I will put the link in the description. 
so you guys can you know read the articles if you are interested in in them coming in the first place the number one the number one spot is no other than the collapse of FTX. FTX is in the number one spot in the top 10 crypto losers of 20. 22 so that is my list right there put in the comment section your top 10 crypto losers of 2022 uh we'd like to see the similarities uh and the differences of course uh so if we go over the entire list we have crypto influencers we have institutional investors so crypto influencers, misguiding investors, you know, many of them are scammers. You have the institutional guys who were happy to accumulate Bitcoin above $40,000 and $50,000. And here we are today, Bitcoin at 16000 and they are nowhere to be found. And we also have crypto influencers who are happy to continue to promote all coins continue to influence retail investors to dollar cost average into all coins all of 2022 despite the fact that we were in a bear market and then we also have the retail investors who are happy to continue to dollar cost average into their favor altcoins, who are happy to accumulate without doing proper research, no due diligence, and most of them portfolios down 70, 80, or 90 percent. And many of the altcoins that were accumulated may never recover. And then we have uh, the crypto market that has lost 2.2 or 2.3 trillion dollars in the last 12 months. Many projects are right now down 80, 90, 95, 98, some even closer to 100 percent. And of course, many companies have gone bankruptcy. And then we also have Michael Saylor, someone that was, you know, happy to accumulate BTC over 40K, $40,000. And again, here we are today, 16,000. And Michael Saylor has not announced that he is accumulating at $16,000, the asset he truly believes is the future when he was happy to get in $40,000 or $50,000. And then we also have, you know, BlackFi that recently filed for bankruptcy. We have the collapse of Celsius. We also have the collapse of, you know, Terra Luna. And of course, the collapse of. FTX.